This is Ray for PandaCanDo.com. We're doing a demonstration of Siloom Psi Pads. So here's the light. You can see I'm using it as a flashlight. And in person I can I can read the writings on those packages with this. The uh, red is definitely not that over for now. The red is definitely not as bright. I don't get the same flashlight effect. But as you know, the red would allow your eyes to adjust better at night. And I would say use this one to mark a person because you can see it plenty well. As whereas the other one's going to allow you to be able to see. So take the green if you're in a triage situation, stick it to yourself. Take a red pad, stick it to a person on the ground that's wounded so that when the first responders show up or any other vehicles show up, they don't run into or bump into the person or have trouble finding them. Then take the, the bright green one, attach that to myself so they can see me moving around. And also with this attached to my chest, I can see a little bit, give me a little bit of lighting uh, when I can't hold my flashlight and I'm applying pressure or giving some sort of first aid or doing some sort of work. I can see a little bit with this one, identifies me, people can see me moving around and they won't run over me when they get to the scene and have twice as many people to work on. Also uh, these little ones, I would say if I had to guess, this yellow one looks the brightest. Green coming in second place, this green makes it look blue but this is definitely a radioactive green. And the yellow is about right. The screen makes everything look a little bit, um, not quite brighter, but a, a lighter tone. So this is looking kind of white through here, but in person it's a nice even yellow. And the break in the center is, is just an air bubble that these come with. Uh, this red one here is almost maybe a, a shade of lavender or something. And it's not as bright as the others, but again, it's, it's nice to have the... Uh, the different colors to identify different things. And the blue for brightness comes in third. Uh, so I'm going to stick this to a wall here. Come over here and shine some light on it. And you get the idea here that, uh, that this one definitely puts out some flashlight type light. And that one does a really good job of, of marking anything and that is really on there like that is I'm really tugging on that and it takes a lot of pressure to pull that off and it's nice they can it re-sticks really well still has I'd say quite a bit of its stick it's cut down quite a bit since I ripped all my hair off my hand you still make out the logo there a little bit so these are very cool. I'm going to write on these with a marker. So I'm just going to make a, um, let's say a T, in case you had a tourniquet. And uh, I'm not going to put a time on there. And you can see that. And we're going to do the same thing to this one on the wall. Just do a little T. I don't block too much of the light. that shows up. On this one, on the camera you can't even see the T, but in person, oh, you can see it a little bit. In person you can definitely see it. It doesn't fade out at all.